Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Dan. And today, I'm still continuing my Disney movie marathon by reviewing something that's Disney related, of course. So, as a result, I've decided to torture myself by going to the dollar store again and buying more garbage. So, this time around, it's going to be one of those Disney knockoffs or whatever from here. Yeah, it's, it goes on with this title right here, folks. Once you put the DVD in, folks, it says this right then, regardless of what packet or solo packet buying. Why is this title of this so confusing? Why is it? What, what's going on here exactly? Oh, come on. It's Mr. Monkey. How many times do I have to tell you I'm not going to buy you this god awful movies? Go, go and get, get a job or something, really? God. Pay for these movies on your own. Jeez. Once I finally put the disc in, I found something strange on the menu, folks. Yeah, it was this. Okay, that seems odd. Uh, okay. How, how did that happen? What? Mr. Monkey. I've already told you, I'm not going to buy you this crap. Enough already. It's going to get. But yeah, even in another packet, it has to go to the same titles as I just said. So, but to make it a bit odd is that it goes also the the brave as well. Yeah, the brave. Yeah, just look at the hair and the outfit. Okay, come on, and the sword. You're not even trying, are you? It, it seems really obvious. Yeah, just look at that. I mean, really, come on. A Chinese console knockoff or something because that's what it's looking like right about now. Yeah, we don't know what's going to happen What's going on here? Yeah, they add the brave and then the braver Yeah, again, we see what they're trying to do here folks. Yeah and yeah, Of course, there's, there's plenty of companies that's trying to cash in on what this had already done Of course, so no surprise there But yeah this movie had the audacity to call it the bravest princess of all the kingdom. Really? Alright, let's say that maybe you're one of those individuals who don't have a dollar store near you, but you don't feel like going to, let's say, Target or Walmart or even Best Buy or any other store that may carry it, because the price for, for the same movie might, might be like 12, 15 bucks. Something like that, but you don't want to pay that much. Just maybe going to maybe Prime Video, I guess, because they have some fairly decent prices if you don't watch movies there. And yes, of course, it's totally legal. However, even that can be pretty tricky because just look at this. You can tell me what's wrong here. Just look at it. Look at this. There's nothing like the movie like at all. At all. So this right here is a total lie because. The thumbnail is showing a different image of a different movie. Yeah, something to call the Little Mermaid or something or whatever. So yeah, even though trying to trick you to, uh, I guess, as bait to watch this movie, I guess they might think it's a different film or something. It looks so colorful or whatever. So yeah, they're really trying to scam you all your money as much as humanly possible. Yeah. Ah, Mr. Monkey. I'm getting really, really fed up with you. You know that, man? You must understand. You can't just... You know what? Yeah, there you go. This movie is so bad, I'd much rather live in a junkyard right this very second. This movie is so bad, I'd much rather be a car crash test dummy. This movie is so bad, I would be willing to allow somebody to punch me in the face as hard as I can right now. This movie is so bad, I'd much rather be in debt with a million dollars. This movie is so bad, I'd much rather be in one of those buildings when they do the demolition because I have some excitement. I've tried to run away. Alright, I think I waited long enough, folks. Of course, as usual, let's talk about the plot of this movie. Okay, it starts off with these two things in our space, I, I guess the planets or something. Like they knew each other, so they start talking to each other. I don't know why. Or how, and this thing has like a has a mommy, 
gets brought up or whatever. They're talking about some story that the little thing heard, I guess. And we get to see that, okay, it gets to some sort of kingdom, I guess. They get to talk about kingdoms for whatever reason, I suppose. And there's like, there's like a, a wizard from Lord of Rings or something oh. comes in. The earth, the whole thing with Lord of Rings, all of a sudden. I don't know why, but sure, okay. But yeah, they're trying to establish those people here, I guess. But then suddenly there's like a laboratory thing. I guess he's supposed to be the bad guy, and the bad guy has like minions or whatever. Kind of reminds me of those old horror films where the scientist guy is doing some sort of experiments in the lab. Is that what they were going for in this? What does that have to do with anything? But okay, then right in the laboratory we see uh, Dragla for a split second. What? Hey, right there. Okay, that seems out of place. And then his minions or whatever. They're doing their own thing in the background or whatnot. And just trying to do their own thing. And then suddenly this baby with powers comes around. And he spits something out from the mouth, I guess. I guess he's trying to be cute here, I suppose. But then the guy, I guess he's a scientist or whatever. He doesn't like what he did. And he tells his minions to do something about it. You know, dispose of the thing or whatever. Takes the baby for a walk. Out in public, you know, okay. But, of course, the baby turns out to have some abilities, of course. And if it would fly, then this happens, of course, and the baby's flying. Oh, boy. Maybe geniuses kind of a thing? Don't you think we already have plenty of this garbage movie as, as it is? I mean, it's a lot of them. And I do mean a lot. And they keep making them more and more and more. And more. And then more. Why you gotta add to this cesspool of crap? I mean, really. But anyway, yes, this baby has some powers, he's strong. I still don't know what this has to do with anything, really, but, okay. And then, it's trying to be playful with the thing, I guess, I suppose. But then it goes back to outer space, where, where the thing's mother comes out of nowhere for some reason. You know, the, I guess the son hugs her very tightly, and they seem to have a, some sort of dispute or something, and they talk to each other. And then she goes to talk about something else, or whatever. And then, yeah, talk about this woman that comes to the guy's lab, and they have a, a moment together to talk. Again, I don't know, but suddenly this this baby shows up. I guess we're going to hear what's going on with him, I suppose. Kind of, uh, even though despite the fact that we're told to dispose of the kid, but I guess they don't keep it. They're, it's, they're the parents now, I suppose. Again, we see the kid grow up, of course. And I guess we'll see his origin story been played out in the story. He's, he's making a mess cleaning or something. He doesn't know his own strength. Is that what it is? I don't know. I don't know what's going on with really. it. But if we see him in school, why do I need to see him go through some uh, high school education? And why does this movie look like he has some old video game graphics? Come on. Hey, Killer Rotan. I'm Rick. Oh, crying out loud, it's you again, man. Can you leave me alone for once? Yeah, I'm Rick, man. Yeah, keep speaking in third person. I know you're Rick. Yeah, this animation is cut off for I love the movement. Come on, it's a masterpiece, man. See, I got a weapon here, and I ain't afraid to use it. You hear? Come here. Don't make me come over there and beat you up or something, okay? I'm Rick! God! You better get on and get before I mess your face up. This is easily one of the worst films I've ever seen, folks. And there's way too much, as you can see, way too much going on. That doesn't really amount to anything. Nothing's really explained all that well. There's so many characters. If anything, there's so much filler. And I do mean so much filler. How is this character, this woman here, how is it that she's supposed to be the main character? It takes her quite a while to show up on screen. And I do mean quite a while. It's badly edited. The animation is pretty bad. And when I, and when I say while, yes, she finally comes in. She sure does. It takes her almost 20 minutes. I mean, really? Almost 20 minutes for her to show up, and she's supposed to be the main character of this thing? Are you kidding me? That's how poorly written this is. Well, okay, let me see here, folks. 
Okay. Oh, look at something. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Uh-huh. Yeah. Hey, what? What? I thought I actually leave. I'm not doing anything. Leave. Oh, I, mean, I swear I'm not doing anything. Leave, man. Stop it, kid. What? I thought I actually leave. Okay, whatever. Get, uh. don't get. Don't get. Yeah, all the typical bad movie stuff, like bad writing, bad voice acting, bad editing is expected in this film. You see it all here, but it just feels, the entire thing feels extremely, extremely lazy. So they're all like flying or something into the air. I guess kind of like, maybe like, uh, like a superhero kind of a thing. Well, that's what came to my mind when I saw that. Part. So, this film in some ways has an identity crisis because it doesn't know what it wants to be. So, uh, the villain, why is he a bad guy? I don't know. Why is he a villain? And why does the main character, okay, supposedly main character anyway, want to be the do good things? Why does he want to good, do good things? Basically, there's, there's no character development really. They all really paper thin. The overall story, there's not much of a story really, just things randomly happening really. But I couldn't really find much information about the voice actress who did the role for the character, but nonetheless, this movie is just awful. I did not like none of the character designs like at all. The animation does not look finished at all, like it barely has any rendering at all. But they say like Hey, forget it, just send it off anyway, <laughs> nonetheless. But, what's with the outer space stuff? Is so, they're doing like a sci-fi thing going on here? I don't know. I don't get I'm trying to comprehend what's going on here in this movie, but everything's random. Everything is random. Literally every single element is random. Oh boy. I was trying to you know, keep this movie review under 10 minutes, but I had quite a few to say about this movie, but whatever. It's forgettable, very generic, and whatnot. I could go on and on and on, but I'll just leave it here, folks. I'll give this film an overall rating of a 3.9 out of 10. It gets a 3.9 out, out of 10 for me. As always, thanks for watching, and take care. And until next time, see ya. I have to get going soon anyway, because the car I had... This movie pissed me so much that I had to release my anger by crashing this car. So later.